everybody i'm gonna present you today how to make a 12 volts battery universal charger <clears throat> how to make it basically uh, this is part two from the, the other previous video that i show you some tips and tricks uh what rate remember the c14 and all the stuff or if not just see the previous video and have a good look at it and maybe you're gonna learn something today i'm gonna show you how to make the actual um charger because uh, the last one it was too long so i don't want to bore you with the technical stuff so basically this universal charger that can charge 12 volts lead acid 9 volts and 3.7 volts you know in the smaller one uh, lithium ion they all get in common the all all thing you know but with small adjustment there and there normally a couple of resistor and that's it this is the diagram folks you do have the input here which is a laptop charger that you can buy or borrow from a friend or maybe on these days everybody has a laptop or can find an adapter this is the main input power which normally lies between 19 volts and 3 4 5 amps somewhere in between after that we're gonna make a current limiter unit i'm gonna show you how to make it it's very simple it just uses an one transistor and a couple of resistors after that we're gonna need a buck converter that you can find on ebay on amazon wherever there are a couple of bucks two three four maybe who knows and after that the battery that we do want to charge all right so we're gonna start straight away this is the laptop charger i don't know if you can see it here now this is the 9 volt and 9.5 volts and 2.31 amps so laptop charger check current limiter is gonna be wait for it back converter normally back converter it's like this or we, we with the voltage adjustment like here this pot or you can buy more fancy ones with current adjustment and other stuff so this is a back converter show you here input and output plus minus and all that stuff it uses uh, lm2596 chip <clears throat> these are very right so we're gonna use this one so a converter i'm gonna stay right here i'm done after that the battery and all that stuff all right folks so let's get this out of the way <clears throat> this is the diagram how to make the current limiter this is the only puzzle that uh, is missing from the the schematic before so we're gonna need the old and trusty 2n3055 which is this one in the diagram here is gonna sit like this this is gonna be the base the chassis is gonna be the collector and this is the emitter so i'm gonna put the the transistor like so we're gonna put some wires a resistor here battery which we're gonna use two double a batteries put it in series after that a connection here we're gonna connect first the multimeter to limit the current and after that battery and this is it this is a pnp or npn or one of those transistor everybody knows about this one 2N3055. Normally on data sheet is supposed to uh, handle up to 15 amps from collector to emitter. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna put some alligator clips and I'm gonna show you straight away. All right, folks, we are all set. We did uh, prepare the multimeter, it's in the current setting, as you're gonna see here. So we're gonna connect the multimeter here between the positive auto battery and the collector. So 
So let's get to it very fast. So the multimeter gets there and to the collector. The collector, this is the transistor, as I told you, for base emitter collector. We're gonna put an alligator clips to the collector and to the other lead of the multimeter, which is gonna be the black one. Done. All right. After this, as the diagram says, the emitter is gonna go to the minus of the battery, which we're gonna use another alligator clip. Minus. And max. For the other side, which is this side of the battery, this side, we're gonna use this to battery put in series in a holder. This is the plus, this is the minus terminal. So we're gonna put and we're gonna use a resistor. So this is 1.2k. So it means 1200 ohms. Alright folks, so we're gonna put a positive which is this lead with the help of an alligator clip. Ah come on stop to the base I said to a resistor. Okay. So the positive to a resistor and then to the base all right so we did connect the plus and the minus which is this is gonna join the emitter which on the diagram on the diagram is this point here as you can see the multimeter is 0 0.13 amps so we did set the current limiter with the help of a 1k resistor to 13 or 14 amps 0 0.13 or 0 0.14 amps so we're gonna collect connect a load right here which in this case is gonna be after the multimeter to see exactly the, the drawing all right we're gonna connect the load as I told you, for the load, we're going to choose a uh, old car filament one, 5 watts. So 12 volts and 5 watts. We're going to connect him, as I showed you, after the multimeter in the diagram. We're going to turn on. As you can see, this light bulb is barely lit. How to show you. This is barely lit. And you see? Is barely lit but is not drawing more than 0 0.14 normally this bulb is drawing like uh, 33 you see it's barely lit here into my palm look barely so the current limiter works I'm gonna show you now what uh, normal is the drawing for this uh, bulb I'm gonna show you now what's the normal drawing of this uh, bulb connected in series with the multimeter and uh, the bulb you can see 0 0.35 amps so our current limiter is working perfectly what remains now just to set set it uh, all up and we're gonna do some testing or I'm gonna let you do the testing and put the comments below to see if working or not or okay so we did I'm going to show you once again the diagram. We did set the current limiter. We did use a 1.2 ohm. Okay. We do have the laptop, the current limiter, the VAC converter, and the battery in our case. I'm going to show you now once again the diagram. As you can see, battery, resistor, base, after that, collector. Here we're going to put a load, but First, we're gonna tune it with a multimeter. Battery that needs to be charged. Emitter, again emitter, and to the minus. This is it, folks. 
very simple very practical one more thing if you want to adjust the the current limiter like we did set it now to 0 0.13 this is kind of low but it was just an example normally at 0 0.10 it's not gonna trigger the the back converter so if we're gonna need more we're gonna put lower resistors like this 310 120 and all uh, all the other all right folks i'm gonna show you in action very very brief and after that we're gonna speak some more all right folks just a little bit uh, up to uh, we have connected the back converter to the transformer the one from the previous video the lady shaver transformer and i'm going to show you how to adjust the voltage to the back converter to set it to 14.5 or 15. as you can see now i've been plugged in and it it has here a small pot and we're gonna twist it with a screwdriver to the left to the left to the left it's gonna decrease you see it's decreasing is very small so you need the proper screwdriver the small one you see this is it folks so you can lower it and make it bigger suiting for your needs and all your project that was it folks thanks all for watching thanks to you being here for me watching all these wires this mess this stuff here we go once again diagram hope you're gonna enjoy it use it carefully in the meanwhile, thumbs up, put the comments below, like my other videos, share the fun and put all the stuff here. We're going to share it and maybe somebody or someone is going to take advantage of it, is going to need it and is going to do awesome stuff with it. Thanks all for watching. Till the next time, keep experimenting and let the imagination begin. Woohoo! Yeah, no skills required.